Hey there, Tall Man Clan. We are at the Florida RV Super Show, and the video review that you're about to watch is a segment of a longer stream that we did. So it's not gonna be as detailed as our normal long form content, but we hope you enjoy. This is a really long one. I wanna check this sucker out, okay? This one is the 8337RL, 8337RL. We're gonna look up here in the front, and as you can see, unlike most travel trailers, there's no storage up here, okay? But there is an electric leveling system on this, and this is where the controller is for it. This is an auto-level travel trailer, okay? Like the other travel trailer we looked at, you got frameless windows. There's an awning that covers from the very front all the way up to the door, and then there's another awning that covers um, the windows here, but there's also another awning over the slide to protect the top of the slide. Just go put those inside. Sorry. We're, we're moving. We're, we're moving and grooving here. All right. And then you're back. And again, we're sorry we can't get around to the other side, but the good news is the weights are listed on the inside. So let's go look inside. This is a long one. Yeah, well, I, see, I, I love opposing slides. Yeah, it gives you so much more space. It does. You know, uh, for those who are joining us for the first time and don't know, Lisa and I full time. And so we're in in the RV, we're in it all the time. We do have a brick and mortar home. We're just, we just, it's somebody else lives in it now, Melissa. Uh, <laughs> and so to, to have this kind of space, you just don't feel cramped, right? So I love any model that has opposing slides in the living room, sort of kitchen area. So, well, here we are in the back. You've got uh, theater seats as well as your, your your little sofa, okay? Little sofa, regular size sofa, okay? And this will fold out to be a bed, okay? This reminds me a little bit of the fifth wheel that we started off in, right? Because then on this side, you've got your theater chairs, and then directly across is is uh, the entertainment center. Um, directly across from us is uh, TV. Entertainment center, we have a sound bar, uh, refrigerator. Yeah, that's your refrigerator down there on the floor, guys. Look at that nice refrigerator. That's yeah. for my refrigerated feet. Yes. <laughs> your fireplace. <laughs> Stay one and I'm already tongue-tied. Holy mackerel. Okay. And then let's not forget the dinette. Yes. Right? Yep. Yeah. So this is nice and coffee. You've got plenty of uh, windows. You've got a nice view on the yeah. side. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it reminds me again of that the fifth wheel that we were in. Yes. Right? You've got sort of the panoramic panoramic view everybody which is nice all right so into the kitchen and this is again a little different right and the other one we were in it had the island it didn't have a sink the sink was over there yes. over there but this one that's all countertop and the sink is here in the middle yes yeah, so this is offset the way that you like it robert so yeah this is a large single basin sink with a nice tall faucet okay um underneath um, we do have some storage doors as well as tall Ooh, space tall under storage. here for Look trash if you want or the, those big bottles of water. Now, over here, um, we do have a huge, tall cabinet space here next to the microwave. Um, so there's our microwave. We've got a three burner stove. This has an oven. Um, next to that, we have storage there. We also have storage underneath the oven. Nice. Nice food pantry. Our pantry. Yeah. Let's give that the test, everybody. Right. Yeah, you can actually see you it see flex it. when I'm hitting. Yeah. So there is no extra support under there. So, you know, that's up to manufacturers. If you get to watch these videos, just throw one other one other little tiny piece of wood that goes across this way. So if you're putting things there in there that are heavy, it, it doesn't start smiling at you. Right. Okay? Exactly. Magic Chef, right? So I believe that is 12 volt, by the way. Speaking of 12 volt, um, there's solar on here already. This unit, it's solar on board. And so the refrigerator have... is on, by the way. It's yeah. nice and cool. It's nice and cool. And this, we have storage underneath the refrigerator. And then we have storage over here in the well. Oh, oh that's where the garbage can is. Okay. Yeah. All right. You can have it either place. You can have it either place. Yeah. I'll put it there. And then some more storage drawers. Nice cabinets um, above, too. Yeah, so again, that, that frosted sort of look, yeah. Yeah, kind of opaque, and then yeah. the, the little designs in yeah. it, right? Um, there's power outlet there, as well as USB. 
you go, guys. So, so right when you come in the door, again, here's here's the door inside, right? Uh, you got, oh yeah, y'all know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! This uh, reminds me a lot of the other bathroom, Lisa. Very, very similar, right? Nice and comfortable for the tall people. Okay, porcelain foot flush, nice under counter mount uh, uh, a bowl here in the sink, nice countertop space. All right, uh, you got your storage underneath, which is really nice. Okay, and then your medicine chest up top. Uh, I can see from like uh, just where my hairline should start. <laughs> okay, yeah, nice face lining for doing makeup and stuff. And nice little cubbies. Yeah, nice little cubbies. Um, the shower is plenty tall for the tall people, just like the other one. Okay, um, the only one that was short was the Geo Pro. Okay, and this has that shower miser. So again, if you're um, off grid and you're trying to use just water from your tank, you flip that and it just recycles the water while the water's getting hot. As soon as it gets hot, you hit the valve back down, then the water goes into the gray tank. So it's just great water con uh, conservation. Um, there's storage for your towels. There's also max fans in here. And I didn't cover that in any of the rest of them, but they all had max fans, right? Your remote's here for it, just right on the wall. That's kind of neat, all right? Okay. So let's get into that bedroom. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a huge bedroom. This really is large, Lisa. Yes, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so... This um, is really nice. This looks like uh, that 72 by 80 king. I would okay. agree. I'll give you all the visual. Okay. All right. It's definitely 80. Yeah, yes. Sure it's a 72. Nice headboard. Um, you've got your power left and right. Again, just tiny little shelf down low, but you got the bigger shelf up top. So if you have a CPAP, there's a place to put it, which is great. Okay. Reading lights, you can see it's kind of on my face now. Right. You've got your cabinetry all above for putting stuff up there. Mm -hmm. But you've got cabinetry to the left of the bed. You've got cabinetry in front of the bed. There's also the more wardrobe type cabinets up on the top. Oh, oh look, look at this. It's a washer dryer. It sure is. Look at that. It's prep for washer dryer. There you guys go. No. See that? Oh, prep for washer dryer. That is the one thing we desperately want. Plus, you still have yeah. one cabinet for your hanging space. And it's deep. It is. Right? You could probably hang a dress in there. I've Maybe not a formal gown, but, you know, like a like yeah, a cocktail sure. dress. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then there's uh, uh, drawers in, in, uh, and, and another cabinet door, uh, door down there. Yeah. And that's the, uh, <laughs> the heat. heating. We love that. And, and I didn't say the TV, but the TV's right across from the bed, as you guys can see right there. There you go, Lisa. So there's, again, storage. Oh, this big storage. Yes, Look at that. It goes all the way down in there. Yeah. And, oh, see that? That's a door. You can actually access that from the outside. Okay? Nice. And then the drawers pull out to the yep. rest of the side. Absolutely. Very nice. All right. Uh, Bob, we're going to go.